Hi there! In this lesson, we will learn how to create a table in HTML. As usual, first we will start with the theory on the slides and then move on to practice. So each table consists of rows and cells. As you see, this table consists of four rows. The first row is divided into three table cells. The first cell of the first row, the second cell of the first row, and the third cell of the first row, and so on. OK, we will use this knowledge in a few minutes. To create a table, we need to use several HTML tags which you see on the screen. They are table, caption, tr, which stands for table row, th, meaning table header, and td, which stands for table data. In the theory part, we will take a look at the table tag, tr, td, and th. And then, in the practice part, we will see the caption tag at work. OK, so let's start. Suppose we want to create this table in HTML. So what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we need to write a table tag. As soon as we write the table tag, it will create a special invisible container for the table. OK, next. We know that each table is composed of rows. So here we have four rows. 1, 2, 3, and 4. That means that we need to use four pairs of tr tags. I'm just reminding you that tr stands for table row. Please note that the tr tag is a pair tag, so it has a start tag and an end tag. As soon as we write these four pairs of tr tags, the imaginary table container will be divided into four rows. Then we know that each table row is composed of cells. In the first row, we have 1, 2, 3 cells. In the second row, also 3 cells, and so on. In order to create a cell, we need to use a TD tag, which stands for table data. So if inside of the first row, we write 3 pairs of TD tags, the first row will be divided into 3 cells, right? Inside of these tags, we write the text we need, which is name, age, and eye color. As a result, the first row is divided into three cells with the text that we have specified. So, if inside of the second row we write another three pairs of TD tags with the information Peter, 18, and Blue accordingly, the second row of the table container will be divided into three cells. The same approach for the third row. And for the fourth row as well. OK, so if we take a closer look, in the first row of the table, the text is in bold because these cells are the headers, meaning name is the header of the column with the text Peter, Kate, and Oliver, and age is the header of the column with the text 18, 25, and 35. So accordingly, eye color is the header of the last column. To create these headers, we have to use a tag called TH, which stands for table header. So let's change for the first row the td tags to th tags and see what we get. As expected, we've got the words name, age, and eye color in bold because we've specified that these cells have to be the headers. But if we wrote this kind of HTML code and refresh the page, we would see that in reality, our table doesn't have any borders. The data inside the table is neatly organized but there are no visible borders. That is, because by default, a table doesn't have visible borders. So to make the borders visible, we have to add a special attribute, called border, to the table tag. As the value of the attribute, we have to specify how many pixels the border has to be. So by adding border equals 1, we told the browser, I want to have a table with a border of 1 pixel. And as a result, now our table will look like this. So the border has appeared, but we can still see that there is some spacing between the cells. The table still doesn't look as it is supposed to. So how can we get rid of the spacing between the cells, which is set by default? We can easily do this by adding another attribute called cell spacing with the value of 0. Again, this attribute has to be added to the table tag. As soon as we add this, the spacing between the cells is deleted and the table looks exactly as we need it. OK, 
So we are done with the theory. So now let's grade our table in Sublime. Because it's a pair tag, we write table and then close it. Then, as we said, our table has four rows. That's why we write four TR tags. Done. The markup for the rows is ready. Now we need to divide each row into three cells. But for the first row we're going to use the TH tag, and for the remaining ones we're going to use the TD tag. OK, we copy this and then paste it. All right, done. Now let's fill our table with the data that we want. In the first row, we have name, age, and eye color. Then let's move on to the second row. Peter, 18, blue. Then the third row, Kate, 25 green. And the last row, Oliver, 35 brown. Let's save it and refresh our page. So far, it doesn't really look like a proper table, right? Why is that? That's because by default, tables in HTML don't have borders. So to fix this, let's add border equals 1. Then save this and refresh the page. As we can see, now our table has visible borders. However, if you look closer, you can see a gap between the cell border and the general table border. To fix this, we need to add cell spacing equals zero. OK, save this and refresh the page. Now we don't have any spacing between the cells, and it looks a lot better. But at this point, the table can still be improved. You see? The text is right next to the cell borders. To fix that, there is a special attribute called cell padding. Basically, it sets the space between the cell walls and the cell content. Let's assign 5 as the value. Save it, and let's check it out. OK, now everything looks pretty good. Excellent. Now we've got a space equal to 5 pixels between the cell walls and the cell content. One last thing. Each table has a caption, because there is no sense making a table without a caption. We could just use the p tag to do that, but that wouldn't be the best way. Because there actually is a special tag for this purpose. It is called a caption tag. We need to write it before all the tr tags. So we add the caption tag. And then let's write the text inside. For example, my awesome table. OK, save this and refresh. And as you can see, our caption now appears right above the table. Alright, that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.